what is up guys and welcome back to the new game plus today guys i got you another video and this time it's going to be another oh, another one of my tutorials and i'm going to teach you guys how to use the dolphin emulator and even the ps2 emulator we ipad ios 15 with the latest update also for ipad os 15 and ios 15 so you're gonna need a couple of files in order to get this to work um, the way that i'm using it is um it's a workaround that involves using the, your computer um, for the first time to get this going so you could use this emulator so some of the tools that you guys are gonna need i already listed everything down below in the description for the stuff that you need to download you're gonna need the jitter bug uh, AP, api uh, the link's gonna be down below in the description. You need to download this debugger, and also you're gonna need the Jitterbug uh, pair. I'm gonna be downloading the Windows 64-bit uh, version because I'm using Windows right now. I'm on Windows 10, and you also gonna need Alt Store. So once again, link is gonna be down below in the description. So make sure you download Alt Store and install that. And of course, we're gonna be also installing the emulator. So we're gonna go and grab the Dolphin emulator and we're gonna download the beta version of it because that's the only one that works with no jailbroken devices right now, 100%. For the PS2 emulator, also same thing. Uh, usually grab the development build, but also you could grab the stable build. I grabbed the development build because some of the versions that they have in there is a little bit more advanced and it has some new features already added. But you could download either or and give it a try. Uh, for Ulster, in order to work, you need to download the regular version of iTunes. You cannot use the iTunes version of the uh, the Microsoft Store. Do not use that version. The same thing goes to for iCloud. You're gonna need iCloud in order to make also work properly. Because the reason why we're grabbing those files is because it's necessary to install all store and you're gonna need those to in order to uh, plug in your phone your iPhone or iPad or, uh, in your computer and install all, all store in your device I'm gonna show you a little bit of that later on but I'm not gonna install all store again because I already have it installed but I'm gonna show you step by step what you need to do after you get all of those files obviously you're gonna install iTunes first you're gonna run it and you're gonna install it and I'm doing that because I already have it installed then after that you're gonna go and install iCloud do the same thing and set it up again I'm not gonna run it because I already have that installed for Alt Store, you're gonna run the setup uh, the .exe so it could be set up for you and once again I'm running it because it's already set up for me so as you guys you can see right here I already have it running it's already set up for me so <laughs> that's why I'm not doing it again after you have everything installed, uh, you need to go here to the All Store, and you're gonna go where it says uh, "Install All Store," and it's gonna show the devices that are connected right now in your computer in order for you to see it. Um, let me show you right now. Oh, sorry, it's not showing up. Yes, yeah. Sometimes this doesn't show up the device as just yet because since it's a fresh installation. Or sometimes there's something on the network that is not making detect it because it will detect that you're on the same Wi-Fi network. But most of the time, I just plug it in to avoid these little headaches here and then. But as you guys can see, um, after plugging it in, instead of just um, using the Wi-Fi, it should show up eventually. So let's see. We're gonna go and as you guys can see, I'm having some issues here. If you having that problem, just close it and run it again and you should be able to now when you go to the install also you should be able to see the device that is plugged in so there you go after you see your device you click on it and it's gonna ask you to make sure to enter your in your email and password so for your for your Apple ID so here when you enter the email it has to be everything in lowercase make sure you put everything in lowercase and for your password, you could enter it however you have it because it's case sensitive. So if you have like capital letters or anything in the, anything like that in your password, make sure you enter it exactly as it is. But for the email, 
make sure you enter the email in lowercase because you have anything on capital or capital letters uh, missing match with capital and lowercase it's not gonna go through it's gonna give you an error so that's that's why it might not work for you i did this and um a couple of times and and i figured it out that's that's the reason why it was giving me some issues so after you got out store install you're gonna see a new icon in your ipad or iphone and and basically what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna open it up and when you open it up top in the top left corner is gonna be a plus sign and you're gonna click on that and you're gonna install the apps that you downloaded and the device that you're gonna be using it so you're gonna be using your tablet or your iphone you're gonna do that and add it and um make sure you those files that are downloaded in there you drop those files into your into your iphone or ipad depending which device you're going to be using so basically you're gonna uh you're gonna put those files in your in one of your folders in icloud and do that but also remember you we downloaded the jeep uh jitterbug pair you're gonna plug in your iphone or ipad and you're gonna run the jeep butter uh jitterbug uh, pair you're gonna run it at exe when you run this after you plug in your phone make sure the phone is plugged in it's going to generate a file as you see on top of it this file on top of it that's basically is your linking id so you could pair that device with another and so you could pay that device with another um ios device running the jitterbug because you're gonna need two devices you're gonna need at least um one two one or two devices depending on what you're gonna be playing so i i have it installed only one of my devices because i have it installed on my iphone and i'm gonna be using my tablet because i mean um just trying everything out on my tablet so basically i plugged in my my tablet i run the jitterbug.exe and it generated a file you guys see on top that file starting with 000 that's the linking um id the pairing id in order to pair that with my with my um with my iphone so as you see right here i already installed the jitterbug app so i'm gonna pair it right now with my ipad that ID there, I'm not gonna delete it because I already have a pair, but I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna show you again how to do this. So, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the arrows here, and that file I already transferred it over using iCloud, so it's already there. So, after transferring it, uh, give me a second. After transferring it, you're gonna see the file there. You're gonna double tap on it to to add it to your jitterbug so after you double tap on it you and you click on it it's going to start uh linking the devices it might take a few times the good things about about this uh about using the jitterbug is in the previous way that i was using the alt you needed to have alt store but you needed to have the beta version. In order to, for you to have the beta version, you need to pay for the creator and Patreon in order for you to use it. Using this workaround, you don't have to do that. You could be using the free version of the All Store and just have Jitterbug do um, the the JIT for your applications that need those. So far, the only two applications I have that use that feature is the Dolphin Emulator and also the Play emulator for the playstation 2 um playstation 2 games so so basically after you have this set up you don't have to use your computer to use the object and you're gonna be saving yourself uh the trouble of becoming a patron with a developer or all store but i'm still still being a patron because he's been doing an amazing job so uh, I just I just showing you guys this video just for you guys if you're um, interested in doing anything like that and just just want to get this thing working. So yeah, it might take a couple of times. They both of the devices has to be in the same Wi-Fi, 
and after they are found you're able to see your list of applications installed in your iPad so as you see right here I got all of my list of applications that put favorites on both of them that have the the Dolphin emulator and have the PlayStation 2 emulator so when you run it from your iPhone in my case when you click on the app on my iPhone using Jitterbug it will automatically launch the Dolphin emulator and when you do this it's already using the the, the JIP the, the JIT is using that already so the emulator can run the game so automatically when, when you do this is already it's already running so if I click on the game the game should work see the game the game is working right now but if you don't run this if basically every time you're trying to run one of the games this is one of the issues I noticed the game uh, the emulator completely is gonna crash so you having this is because you need to use the jib in order to run those games so if you see right here when you press on the game because I'm using the Dolphin beta version it's telling me that I need is waiting for the JIT in order to run the game so it will not run unless you go in it and and run it from your all the iOS device. This is basically the same setup I was doing for running those emulator, but instead of using my phone using Jitterbug, I was using Alt Store for this. But I found that by using the Jitterbug is so much easier, is less complicated, and uh, basic. Even since I carry both of them with me around, I could take both of them with me. So it's way, way better than just using also on the PC. So if you guys found this informative and helpful, please make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. And also, I have a bundle with all of this down below in the video description. If you don't want to go through one by one, everything is going to be down below in the video description. So make sure you like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.